And tonight in Bolivia, we have cameras focused live on several objects that have produced mystical phenomena, including a statue which seems to weep oil. Now, is there a way to assess if any of these visionaries associated with these events are telling the truth? Dr. Ricardo Castañan, who formulated the EEG test we saw used earlier on Cacho Rivas, and who was present that day at the hospital in Mexico City, is just back from a tour of Asia where he investigated other visionaries, and he joins us now live from Bolivia. Buenos noches, Dr. Castañan. Welcome. Good evening. Glad to see you, and thank you for this invitation. Such a great pleasure. I imagine you come across a lot of frauds in your work. How many do you find to be genuine? I have studied around 50 cases in the four continents, and from them, six cases were false. Then it's not as uh, some people say, everyone is false. I think that before we talk and we say, I am a skeptic or I don't believe this, we must go very deep with the information to know if that's truth or not. The most of the cases I have studied were authentic. Now, of the authentic ones that you've deemed authentic, what do they have in common, if anything? Well, when we study the cases, you have seen only some part of the technical results we get. But normally, we have to study the, the life of these people. They are people who try to have a holy life. They are humble. They, um, they are not looking for money. When I was studying cases in America, the first question is if they get money or not. I have to tell you that these people are very, very simple. They, they have a quiet life. They pray a lot. They want to help pilgrims. They want to help people. But I have to say also that it's very important to know as a warning that some people were authentic for some years, but because their human weaknesses they were not able to keep a holy life, and then they changed it, and they wanted money, copyrights. They, they said the messages belonged to them. Then they didn't have a holy life. And that's the reason why the church is very prudent, not only to say if they are authentic or not, but also to see if they keep a holy life. Dr. Castanon, just briefly, a few short years back, you were an atheist. Now, what's happened to the certainty you once held that God did not exist. For me, it's important to say that in, during the 80s, I was living in Germany. And during 10 years, I was hearing that in many countries, Jesus and Mary were appearing. But I didn't see that the science was trying to give an answer to this. For this, you saw that Father Peter said uh, it could be a fraud, it could be this, it could be this. Important for science is to say, is it or it's not? Then I decided to study these cases as an atheist to give some orientation to the people because it's very easy to say it's truth, maybe, or maybe not. It's important to say to the, to the people the truth. And the truth showed me that there is a spirit, that these miracles are happening, and now I, am, I believe in this spirit. Thank you and so in much. these cases also. Muchísimas gracias for your intuition and your, and your guidance. Thank you, Dr. Castañón. Thank Michael, you very much. Michael's investigation uncovered other so-called signs from God as well. Our next story involves the testing of a statue of Jesus Christ in Bolivia. The claim is straightforward, that the statue on its own bleeds. Now, this is a live shot of that statue. We put this statue to the test, the highest test, the CAT scan, to determine if it had been tampered with in any way. And you'll see those results and something else that seems to happen to this statue. This is a simple statue of Jesus Christ. It is decorated with artistic markings that depict his blood. In 1995, Emma Orobola's family bought one of these statues and placed it on an altar in their home. Just hours later, the family said they were shocked to discover the statue was crying. A short time later, they said, this incredible statue of Christ began to bleed. When we heard these reports, we flew to Cochabamba in Bolivia to test for ourselves. This is what we saw. If you look closely at this footage, you can see that a tear has started to form an inch below the right eye. The tear moves slowly down the cheek and eventually falls. We continued to film for hours 
with nobody able to touch the statue. And this was the result. Inexplicably, the statue began to bleed. We now had our first major forensic challenge. If this was not a fraud, then where was this blood coming from? Whose blood was it? Was it human? And what of the DNA? What would that reveal? We took a sample of this substance, which has the appearance of blood. Whatever the results of our tests, Cochabamba's local archbishop has accepted the authenticity of this statue, which is now venerated by the thousands of people who have seen it cry and bleed. But of course, if this is a fraud, there is one obvious possibility, and that is, the statue has been tampered with. A device, an injection, some type of hoax devised by man. Emma's family agreed to let science test the statue. A CAT scan was chosen for the test, the same sophisticated probe which allows doctors to see what X-rays cannot. If there was so much as a pinprick in this statue, it would be revealed by a CAT scan. The result? The statue has no devices, no holes, not the tiniest of apertures. It has not been tampered with. Science has no explanation for the weeping or bleeding. Since it began to bleed, the face has changed. It now appears etched with the suffering of a man dying in extreme pain. Today, it is hard to believe this statue was once an exact replica of the one you see on the right of the screen. The eyes no longer look like plaster, but indicate the reality of a tortuous death. Now it's time to test the blood from this tortured face. Still ahead, science tests faith again. What is the source of the blood dripping from the statue of Jesus? Is it human? A forensic specialist gives the result of DNA testing. And later, our cameras travel to Bolivia, attempting to record Katya Rivas during the agony of a stigmata. Signs from God, science tests faith, will continue.